And we're back. And we just destroyed the formula. So we stopped Joker's plans, right? I want plans, that Krabby right? Patty formula. Oh. Crap. He has Dr. Young. Shit. Also, oh, crap. So ominous if you're not, smoke. If you're not going to give me the... If you're not gonna give me the formula, I'll just take the guy who makes it. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Also, are we getting high here? Probably. I actually never I mean, noticed kinda looked that. Like we were hot, kinda looked like we were hotboxing. I never noticed that. Yeah, uh, all three instances you can uh, uh, see air distortions. In the first Rain. instance, when you're encountering Scarecrow at the hospital, you can see the elevator uh, filling with gas. It's suddenly, ra it's suddenly raining indoors. Now for my least favorite section in the entire game. I like this section. Uh, like, okay, so we got into it a bit off mic. I'm off, like, I'm act one of those people. Okay, so I'm going into game design, and one merit of games that is you don't really see in other forms of media except the maybe trash kid. song. Yeah, that's what I do. I try to take it as far as I can. Like, uh, except maybe music. Games have a power to, because of how interactive they are, through the uh, by applying an element of interactivity and immersion, you can convey more emotion than you than you generally would be able to in say a movie. DC, you suck at kick the can. So you know, like games with the with the rising surge of like say the quote unquote walking simulator or i use the, or the more appropriate term interactive uh like interactive uh, storytelling i'm all for those because you know like it seems like this just going through this alley you know we're constantly like treading back like the alley changes from you know uh, the hallway My to the mansion to dead. the alley while we're listening to a flashback like it's we're literally it's we're quite literally taking a stroll down memory lane and i get i'll walk my i'll see myself out i get that but i'm not and, i'm and, not talking about this section specifically you're talking about this this section specifically no okay let me let me clarify something here i hate this section right here when you're this little kid when like me I like to come back and replay these games every now and then, and this right here just brings it to such a screeching halt because I already know this stuff. I've seen this in multiple playthroughs of Arkham Asylum. You know, like, I get what this is representing. It's representing, you know, Batman's backstory, all that, because of the crane gas. It's what, you know, he has his deepest fear about. I get all that. It's just when I'm just trying to play the game, it, no, it, watch, it no slows down scenes, the pace. It, it's fine. I've said this multiple times. It is absolutely fine for the first playthrough. Just the first playthrough. I wish there was a way that you could speed past this part. You, uh, you know what? I would agree if it weren't if it if it if it weren't so short. Like that section, it's literally right around the corner. I know, and it's my least favorite section of the game. Well, it, it, well the thing is, it, it's still it, it, it's still it's, the walking is like, pretty slow paced. It's slow, but, you know, it's literally right around the corner. There's not much distance, and it's during, like, what, only five lines of dialogue? I know, but I really still hate it. Man, you got oh, caught. Guilty. Like, Extremely it, guilty of this. I've done, I did that actually, um, <laughs> uh, which I guess I should start talking about it a little bit, too. Um, since the last recording, I did say that I was going to try to get Return to Arkham, and I did. And uh, I've caught up, and I plan on beating it probably later tonight after I record some more uh, Wind Waker at this point in time. Uh, but, um... I, I watch right out into that. But, um... Generally, Return to Arkham, if you've played this game on the PS3 like I did, it's pretty much just that. Just, you know... It, I think the lighting in some areas looks a little, a little bit uh, weird, but overall, I think it is a fine way to play the game. If you've never played Arkham Asylum, definitely get it. It's a it's a consequence of fucking with the like graphics engines. Yeah. Like they mess around with the lighting engine and the model quality looks more plasticky than 
<laughs> if you say uh, they look more plastic your... than your PS3 version, they look like fucking wax dolls in that version. I can at least tell it's a model this time. <laughs> so. Oh, the models themselves, but the the clothing, like, uh, I, like, I. That's I'm like really around. nitpicky shit. All right. Well, like, no, it's more like the fact that like the lighting engine, it, they. Yeah, they don't look like they're made of wax, but they look like they're made of plastic now. I mean, plastic. that's really the case. Actually, something I always... Okay, so you know how sometimes games will, like, remind you of certain times when you were younger and stuff like that? Um, or, like, you'll, you'll have callbacks to memories and stuff like that uh, during certain uh, parts of movies, parts of songs, or... Whatever. So mm -hmm. the first thing I always think of during this specific scarecrow sequence, actually coming up, if I remember right, where you're gonna have to, um, ed, uh, no, uh, uh, crouch walk a bit, um, or maybe that's the third one. I, I I don't remember exactly which one. Um, the first thing I think of was uh, during the commentary I did on uh, my very first channel on YouTube. Uh, I said, you know, I've been reading this manga called The Disappearance uh, of uh, Nagato Yuki-chan, uh, which uh, I now own, I think, every volume that's come out in the States and the anime itself. Um, and, and I always just think back to that whenever I'm in this section, just because it's so, like, why the fuck did I choose this time of all times to bring it up? It's always been like, what am I? What the fuck was I thinking? <laughs> yeah, um. Yeah, it's this section right up here. <laughs> yeah, you got it. So, uh, the thing with, um, so going back to the thing, like, you know, I would agree with you if, say, you were playing as Kid Bruce from the very beginning of the hallway. The fact that you're there for literally, a, like, just turning around a corner and for, like, five lines of dialogue. That, that's not as egregious to me. You get what I mean? Yeah, I know what you're saying, but I still hate it. <laughs> I mean, it's... It, it, like, like the scene like the scene is over for literally, like, after, 15, what, 15 seconds? Not even? Yeah, but I still hate it because it brings the game to a screeching stall, uh, stop. Again, on multiple... I don't... How the what fuck What the fuck? Not? That was bullshit. <laughs> that was really fucking that close. That was bull bullshit. I call it bullshit. Although I'm... And I'm booking it! Booking it! Booking it! <laughs> <laughs> Something like that happened somewhere on Wind Waker recently. I went to go push a box and I broke it. <laughs> and it was a shortcut, too. I love the jingle for the intercom. I said that last time. Either that or I said it on a they're off the mic, I think, to Eric or so or uh, off the Either way, I said it first. Yes, I did. I know I did, because I actually really like that theme. <laughs> upgrades. God, it's so weird seeing other upgrades. I've only been when I've been playing Return to Arkham, I've been just going from left to right. I have not gotten any other thing. <laughs> Which See, I'm too good I'm 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 too good to need uh health upgrades I at think, this point. I think the longest I ever waited to get, like, the first upgrade to health was, like, almost by the time I got to Killer Croc. I mean, really, the only time I have to really use uh, so, health is during self sections. So, DC, what you're telling me is that you can do a three-heart run of Zelda. I could do one to Twilight Princess. You missed an yeah. Arkham! You missed an Arkham thing. I'll get to it later <laughs> when I do clean up. I know. Because I uh, I always glide down from there, so I I saw that my very first playthrough. All right. Uh, wait, wait. And did you just say you could do a three hard run of Twilight Princess? Yes, I'm pretty sure I could. Yes. <laughs> you're just, a, you're just up to. Uh, I I've done the shieldless run of that game. Boosh. Yeah, me too. Shieldless, like that. That's easy, but oof, fucking three heart run. Three heart run of Twilight Princess shouldn't be that hard. Uh, if you say the dart, not as long as you get the hidden skills, you're fine. Early, no, no, early and mid game. If 
fine. No, even Zant. Even Zant. Once you know his pattern. No, no, no. no I'm I'm talking late game. I'm trying. Um, like if you're talking final... about doing 100, percent then yeah, it's hard. But going through the main game itself, which is what I would do. Oh, dude, the the, the games. First of all, Twilight Prince. Uh, well, outside of the obvious. Oh yeah, well. I found this guy on. <laughs> And I was like, wait, this is always here? <laughs> Outside of the obvious Breath of the Wild, like, Twilight Princess is harder than the average Zelda. No, it's not. Yeah, uh, uh, dude, it is. I've played every Zelda. Like, it is the hardest. Well, combat-wise, it's, uh, mooks are a lot, uh, tougher. And, I think you should specify you know, it's the hardest the of the 3D. No, because in Breath yeah. of the Wild, it's like, sit in the corner. Breath, and look at I, again, I just said, out, uh, outside of Breath of the Wild. Come any closer. Like, outside of Breath of the Wild, Twilight Princess is the hardest uh, of the Zeldas, 3D Zeldas. Yeah, because if you're going to include 2D, you, there's no way you're getting past the first and second. Yeah. But no, like, Twilight Princess is by far the hardest 3D Zelda. Well, I, I, I honestly, I'll, I'll say, even, yeah, I'll say, uh, uh, Breath of the Wild is a close contender, but Twilight Princess still beats it. I don't know, man. I, I really don't think. Really, Twilight because it, the, the sheer openness of Breath of the Wild allows you to break that game in half. Even combat, it, like, it's, it's a fucking joke. Well, it's not like you can beat. Just it's... hit him. No, I'm letting the dialogue run. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's not art. <laughs> I will say though, um, at replay and return to Arkham, uh, and like listening to the Joker. My favorite piece of dialogue he says in this entire game is when uh, you knock out some enemies and he's directing them like, "Oh, he." He's he's uh, knocked one of you out. What are you doing? Is uh, he's left you a gift and not in the first date kind of way? <laughs> wow. Joker doesn't take no for an answer. That blasted formula. I can't help but think this is, uh... This is Cree Summer. Okay, that's what I was thinking. I was like, you know, this sounds like so much like number five from Kids Next Door. It, it, yeah, it is Cree Summer. <laughs> really? You think he's insane? Where have you been all these years? Hi, Holly. Oh, God, what's with that nurse outfit? I, re I I like her city and night design a lot more. Oh, I think it fits the same. And you know what? No, well, I, I say it doesn't because it's too revealing of a nurse outfit. Like, I mean, showing cleavage, I mean, that fits for, like, her city design, but for a nurse's outfit? That's just darn, man. Now I'm gonna hit you. To oh crap, now he's hitting me! On assholes. <laughs> there. There. Oh! oh god, I felt that in my arm. Jesus. Totally, <laughs> totally not lethal. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just love it whenever the. Uh, <laughs> totally not lethal. <laughs> you just like raise your fist up in the air. It ruins your combo, but it's fucking funny. Totally not lethal. Batman is completely non-lethal. I still think one of the the most creepy moments in the Arkham series in terms of like getting knocked down when he was like kind of phased out for a second and Harley Quinn was standing over him is in Arkham Origins when the light like, Joker gas hits that one woman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> aliens. <laughs> yeah, this ends up like just aliens. <laughs> Wait, who? That Wait, uh, that uh, that mook that was on the ground. Oh, like uh, like the ancient aliens <laughs> yeah. guy. They're coming for us. So 
So we're speaking of which, that's one thing I will admit Ar uh, Return of Arkham apparently fixed a bit more. Now, granted, I haven't really seen it as much. Um, you can't do it yet. <laughs> no, not a, not a better rank to the wall. <laughs> Don't you have to get all the Riddler trophies to do this? Nope. Hmm. But uh, there is something, there is a prerequisite. What's that? <clears throat> Oh, you have to get. You have to find out who uh, the spirit of Arkham is. Nope. I I'll, I'll bring it up. Like I I, I uh, you don't have to hundred percent it. You don't have to. Yeah, jump cut. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wait, did you jump cut? Um, actually, I did have a bit of an embarrassing moment when uh, I was. That's all, but because in the means of uh, fucking around, I do find two of the map and um. Scarface, I so always forget I like to do this. What? Do what? Uh, no, I forgot. No, I I forgot to do uh, scan uh, Scarface. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think. It's here. Like I'm. I remember. I have to. Um. Like I, it, it, I had to. Um. Lucky that it didn't hurt you. Uh. No, that's the I think the it wall. was right here in the middle. Yeah, the, the, it's this wall. And I remember it took like a three uh, gel thing. It does take three. Wait. Like, this is me thinking, did I leave another door? And then I'm also moving over to the safe where uh, Sharp has a nice message. May this secret seem like an oasis within a desert of insanity. You know, at half the quality, though, I can't even read that. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, you're watching the, the SD. Yep. It's a consequence of SD, but... Puts around trying to show off the Arkham City Easter egg, but like an idiot, I forgot it doesn't open until after you beat Ivy. Wah. Oh, okay. You're thinking too far ahead, boy. I mean, I did that too. I forgot to but the, scan that uh, moment, doc, uh, Dr. Young's um, fingerprints when I was trying to find that the That moment when you're trying to think ahead, but you're a little too far ahead. Uh, guilty in Wind Waker. That will happen. Uh, especially in the Forsaken Fortress. That totally didn't piss me off, by the way. What? <laughs> You'll see when we get to it. Which won't be for a few more months from now. <laughs> yep. Got Bit. several games to get through. Well, probably a whole year, considering we're, uh, we're want, gonna want to do Ocarina first. Yeah, once Ocarina's out of the way, it opens the it opens the gates to the multiple timelines. <laughs> oh, I was hoping you'd go through the metal. Yay! <laughs> yeah, if you go through the metal detect. <laughs> What the? F oh, please uh, kill don't, him! Please, don't mind please, me. please die! Don't mind please me. die! Please die! Don't mind me. I'm just joking. <laughs> out your friend. <laughs> <Die. laughs> uh. Get over here! I miss my back plot. Uh, yeah, you still pulled the scorpion. <laughs> yeah, but in the back with the uh, in city with you, it, it's even more of a scorpion. Get over here, douche! So fucking seamless. I love my takedown strike. I'm oh, sorry, my back claw strike. Or as Batman would say when he's using the grapple line on a jumping enemy, get down. <laughs> Alright. Bye, yeah, everybody. Bye.